Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Or I guess it's evening now. I don't know. <laughs> Three minutes still. Bonnie, how much snow are you going to get? Uh, four to eight. That's not too bad. I was showing Anne Marie a picture I got from New York this afternoon. They've got they've gotten almost twelve. Yeah, I think it. I think if I'm lucky, it's going to go uh, south and east of here. It's it's the winds that bother me more than the snow. Mm -hmm. But uh, yours is all gone, right? We have nothing. We just had a lot of wind and a lot of high tide. Uh, the canal was well over all over the marsh this afternoon, and. Um, across from the daily market. Right. I didn't see it across Savannah Road when I came through, but um, I, I didn't go over there, but uh, I don't know, maybe Rob did. I just looked at the Cape Shores Beach, but I think uh, Tim took a good look at some other places. The Cape Shores Beach was taking a, a bad beating. Yeah, well, whole area was, you know, but it's, it is February. So. Right. How many years ago was Jonas? That was terrible. That was like three or four. So, hello, Glenn. Hi, everyone. Hello. If we get to, if we can get through the next six weeks without a major storm, we'll be pretty good. We should be pretty good. It was a mess yesterday afternoon, that's for sure. When did you come back from Virginia, Rob? Saturday? Saturday. Yeah, you avoided the whole thing then. No, no, no. I, I just left it there and came here and <laughs> the, the wind and the snow and the rain and the cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Tim, uh, Tim told me he looked around, drove around and, and saw some stuff. Oh, you were looking for high water today, Tim? Uh, yeah, I didn't have to look far either, or go far. <laughs> yeah, but lots of evidence of high water. We've got, we've got the, cy the cycle tonight and tomorrow morning yet to get through before it's over. Yeah. Apparently, so. So far, we've been pretty lucky. Yeah, I think there's, uh, I, I think there's a lot, some significant damage over on the beach. Uh, when you say damage, do you mean erosion or do you mean actual structural damage? No, I meant erosion. I apologize. Yes. Okay. You know, sand, you know, movement. Yeah. Well, it happens every year. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, we're all here. So um, it is five o'clock and we have a bit of a, uh, we have a few attendees. And so it is five o'clock and we are here for a public hearing for the Mayor and City Council on February 1st at five. And um, we're here on, uh, to hear two items this evening at five o'clock. First is amendment to the Lewis City Charter section 12 relating to the filling of vacancy in the position of mayor or council person. Uh, we, um, we have this before us and uh, Glenn, do you wanna talk about this or Rob, do you, since you were the author of many of these changes, this change, would you like to talk about it? Glenn, you wanna take the lead on this? Sure. Um, <clears throat> So this one, I'm sorry, I have the wrong, have the wrong one up right now. Um, it's kind of a, um, in some ways, record keeping. So the, the, the version you have that's online, there's a lengthy portion. The first few pages um, are not highlighted in yellow. Those were changes that have already been um, adopted by city council to send on to the general assembly. The second portion that is highlighted in yellow um, kind of clarifies, this is kind of housekeeping, I see it, because there are certain areas in the charter that discuss elected officials. Well, it doesn't clarify that a person who's appointed to the office is actually deemed elected. So this, this change would correct that deficiency in the charter to make clear that an appointed city council member is deemed elected for purposes of the charter. Anything you want to add, Councilperson Morgan? No, that's exactly right. So it's just That's, lines 117 and following that we're looking at tonight. And it's just the one 
insertion of shall be deemed to have been elected for purposes of this charter. Right. Lines 123 and 124. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we are here to hear public comment and it looks like we have two members of the public that are here. So, uh, and Ellen Lorraine. Thank you, Ellen Lorraine. Uh, but uh, if there's any comments here, um, we'd certainly like you to raise your hand or ask questions or comment. Okay. Looks like uh, there's no public comment to this. I think there's something in the chat. I looked, I didn't see it. Yeah, it said it. Doug Spellman just typed none, so okay. that that means Doug doesn't have any yeah. any comments. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Roman is also here, and he uh, has not commented. So he's a member of the press, right? That's what I thought. And so it looks like uh, we have no no public comments since Doug is really the only city resident who is here. So if there's no comment to this. I think we probably then uh, could move on to the second item, which is an amendment to the Lewis City Charter, Section 33, relating to fishing from the Lewis from the Delaware Bay shore. And this is uh, a clarification of restrictions that could be placed by Mayor and Council on on the uh, fishing along the shore. Glenn, do you want to talk about this one? Well, I, I guess I didn't look, but was this was this one noticed for six o'clock? No, this was noticed no. For five. This was no. noticed for five. Good, good. I just wasn't sure if we had a, had to wait till six. Um, this one is also kind of a clarifying matter in that um, this relates to what sorts of regulation the city council can Im impose on fishing from um, the Delaware Bay shore. So the only the change would be on page two of the um, line twenty nine line twenty nine of the charter amendment. So it goes through and says that the city of Lewis. Um, I'm sorry. Let me back up to the beginning of this sentence so we can hear it all together. Um, it's a long sentence. <laughs> So let me start at the comma then on line 26. It says, provided that nothing in this section or act shall authorize the city council to pass any ordinances to prevent any citizen of the city of Lewis or state of Delaware from fishing along said Delaware Bay shore, then what would be added is another comma and the following. Provided further, however, that the city council may restrict fishing along said Delaware Bay shore and for 300 feet from the mean high water, from the meat, from the I'm sorry, from the mean higher high, that needs to be corrected, from the mean yeah. high water line, there from where in the discretion of the city council, the public health and welfare is served by so doing. So the word higher would be stricken, that's a mistake. It should be just high water line. But this clarifies that city council is able to restrict fishing along the Delaware Bay shore um, and for a, a distance of 300 feet to ensure that activity in the water is, is can be restricted as well. And I didn't quite hear what you were saying about mean high or high water. Uh, that that should that is correct. Mean higher high water line? Yes, it's a technical term. Huh, my mistake. It means the average of the higher high waters for the previous 20 years. Oh, huh, okay, thanks for that. Okay. All right. So now we have uh, two members of Lewis, of uh, two residents of Lewis, Bob Hefferman and uh, Doug Spellman on. And uh, are there, would either of you like to comment on this? If so, if you could either raise your hand or otherwise uh, type in something in the chat. It's like we have a no thank you from Doug Spellman. I have a question if it's okay. Sure. Sure. It was my can you can you hear me okay? My internet keeps telling me it's unstable. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Um is my understanding the purpose of this one was again to shore up where 
what the charter says versus the, the code essentially. Um, and in the code, it's much more specific about Pilot Point and the, you know, the, the Yacht Club and all. So I guess that's my question is, is what we're doing here sufficient enough? Is it specific enough? So I think Councilperson Richard identified this initially. Did, did you want to comment on the genesis of it? Uh, yes, this uh, ties back to uh, my service on the beach parking committee, which caused me to do a deep dive into, uh, into our charter <clears throat> and code. And it was uh, what I identified was a discrepancy between the two. And I, this effort should be about just making, truing up, if you will, uh, the code and the charter to be in compliance with each other, supporting each other. And uh, that's basically what I would, how I would describe it. I, yeah, that's how I would describe it. It's that effort. Go ahead, Rob. Can I add a little Please. bit? Please. Uh, Andrew, you're right that the charter is a little bit broader than the ordinance. Uh, it, so it does have the effect of authorizing us to pass the ordinance that in fact is already on our books. Correct. It also goes a little bit further. We had previously had an ordinance that covered 300 feet out. This one, uh, the current ordinance does not. But if you want to be able to do, uh, if you want to be able to worry about people who wade out in fishing gear or who come in close to the shore uh, to fish and thus endanger bathers, then that would be something you'd want to be able to cover too. And as far as the um, the stretch of beach, you're right. Uh, the ordinance covers a, a narrower, a smaller stretch. This is broader. It, it would allow us to to um, uh, go further if we wanted. Uh, so Bob Hefferman has, suggest, has said he's listening. Very, he's very interested. And I see we've been joined by. I assume that uh, that's Dave Innes. It is not? It's not Dave. Okay. It's, I think Elizabeth. Is it Elizabeth? Okay. Uh, are there any comments from uh, Ms. Innes? If you would uh, raise your hand or type something in the chat, that would be helpful. Just listening tonight, okay. All right, so it looks like uh, we have no public comments of, of any uh, significance here for this, uh, for both of these items on this agenda. So I think uh, both of these items, we can keep this record open until noon on the 8th of February. If anyone would like to comment, there's submit a bit of written comment. Uh, but other than that, I think, uh, we have had no comment here tonight, so I think we could entertain a motion to uh, close this public hearing. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Kim. Second. Motion, motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Okay. So we have uh, basically 45 minutes between now and the six o'clock hearing, and we can't begin the six o'clock hearing until six o'clock. So um, we can all take a little hiatus. I believe it's the same Zoom call. Is, that, is it a different one? It's actually, it, it's a different Zoom. Okay. It's a different link. So if you, if you okay. do intend to, to go to that, make sure you go to that agenda. Yeah, anybody who's on this who wants to participate in the one later uh, at six o'clock, uh, we'll log off of this one. We'll see you in about uh, 40 minutes. Um, Wait, I'm, uh, a little, yeah. I'm a little confused. Are we supposed, the, the, the panel, I guess is what we're called. Right. Are we supposed to use the link we just No, you, you would have just gotten your different. one hour reminder while we've been in this. So a so one hour reminder for the next one is it should be there now. Right. Got it. Got it. Okay, Thank great. You. All right. So we'll great. see you uh, see you in about 40 minutes. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.